way to work. No, we're on our way to McDonald's. You're a lot. If you eat faster, you, you get more. I'm wearing the wrong shoes. Happy had a heart attack today. I hope that my hate will lower and my level higher. But I was opening an avocado. You guys know that stupid circle that's in an avocado. It's B. We shouldn't be tearing someone down. We should be tearing people up. And I lost 89 pounds before. You're a lot. Mental things are it's scary. I'm very Hello, my darlings. I hope you enjoyed the new intro. Just wanted to spice things up a little, you know? Today we'll be focusing on Amberlynn's weight loss, or should I say weight gain drama, and hearing a talk about her ex. But before we do that, I've got some news for you. So, before we start each video, I thought it would be fun to do an Amberlynn trivia session. So, today's question is, what weight did Amberlynn reveal as her highest weight on YouTube? Was it A, 562.4, B, 600, C, 572.4, D, 570.4, or E, 558.3 pounds. Leave your answers in the comments below and you'll find out at the end of the video. Hello everybody, welcome to a new vlog. So today is January 2nd, so let's get right into it. Hello, it's ready. All right, stepping on now. 517.8. Okay, I am so dumb. Yesterday I thought I was 518 point something, but it looks like I gained weight, which I'm actually not surprised. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, wow, so Amber Lynn coded, of course she's gonna gain weight at the beginning of the new year. And honestly, yeah, I'm gonna put a sad face because all day yesterday I did amazing. And I don't know what hit me at nighttime, but it wasn't cute. Um, I actually ended up ordering Jack in a Box. So I think what I'm gonna do is every day when I write my weight down for you guys, I'm gonna put a sad face on the day prior if I was not on track, but I'm gonna put a heart if I was on track. So obviously my bad choices at night did disrupt my fluctuations. I'm sorry, but no, that's not what everyone is thinking. This is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. This is not true weight loss or weight gain. This is just briefly, as you mentioned, fluctuations in water weight. Whether you peed or pooped or if you had food, how late you ate. I think it can be helpful to weigh yourself daily um, if you want to understand, you know, how you're fluctuating. But sometimes it's not just black and white. You may be on track one day and still gain weight and the next day. Um, it doesn't really mean anything significant. This is why I'm not a fan of daily weighing in. Just just weigh yourself weekly and that'll be more accurate. How do you do the same thing year in and year out and expect different results? Or like the progress I could have made in just one day because it is possible to make progress in one day. Just like it's possible to not make progress. Just like I did. So our current walking song, even though she can't hear it except where my AirPods, Lost in the Fire. The oh, she made sure to put the clip in so we know that she's walking Twinkie. Either way, I'm happy that she's just getting walked, man. So one chore that I really hate besides cleaning the toilet is mopping. I really don't know what it is, but I've always hated mopping, but I think I'm in love with it now because I love this little doodad. Like, isn't that so fun? I don't know, but yeah. Everything smells like pine salt now, which is my favorite. Okay, I won't lie, that does look fun, but also I like mopping because it kind of makes the house smell really good and um, it's it's like the thing that you do right towards the end um, when everything else is clean, like you've hoovered and then you mop and it's like the end of everything, so I don't know, I kind of like it. Mm. Okay, so if you guys remember my vlog from yesterday, I decided I'm going to start this building block situation type deal it's astro boy which looks pretty freaking cool i'm not gonna lie i was gonna start last night but i didn't so i'm gonna start it now i opened the first step which came with two bags and then this is just like to help if you put a piece in like the wrong spot or something but i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of a savage so i just use my teeth but all right i'm about to do the first step and i'll show you guys when it's done okay i did it you guys i will say Having nails while doing Lego is just 
really hard, especially when the pieces are so small. <laughs> Can you fathom being an adult and deciding, today I'll be playing with Legos, and then at the end of the month, pocketing around like 10k? Picture this, Ember Lynn mingling with everyday folks. Imagine her engaging in real life chats, like imagine she's gone for drinks and a sales assistant multitasking between the till, the stock room, the floor, a doctor saving 35 patients and then sending one to um, urgent ER because someone's having a DKA, a builder on the brink of completing a colossal apartment complex, and then there's Amberlynn sharing about her taxing day, mastering the intricate Lego set after getting her nails done. Hello, hello, next day, January 3rd, weigh in. Oh, hi, you see my hair. <laughs> 516.4 pounds. 516.4. I knew that confidence was for a reason. Hell yeah. Okay, so I was 516.4. And yesterday I was on track. See how I was off track, gained weight, on track, lost weight. That is literally my life. And the reason why it happens like that for me specifically is because of my lipedema. Um, when I'm off track, I retain tons of water. When I'm on track, my body wants to lose that water. <laughs> oh my God, make it stop. Oh my God, this is not just specific to you. Everything, you make everything sound like your health is this weird complex thing. It's so frustrating. It's not just about you. It's like she's convinced that her health is this mis mysterious puzzle that only she gets. It's not unique to you, nor is it solely to do with your lipedema. This is just how people's body functions. It's normal. This is how a lot of people's body react. I'm currently making some chicken sausage and broccoli. Oh my god. This actually, this chicken sausage might be one of my favorites. Let me show you guys. Hi, Tweaks. The brand is Al Fresco. It's the sweet Italian style. I made two of them. One of them is only 110 calories. And while cooking, I have been snacking on radishes, which I'm obsessed. Oh, it's January 4th. I don't know how it's already the 4th, but it is. I just noticed that as the time goes on and I get older, the time goes quicker. Like when I was a kid, time would go by so slow. Now that I got some gray hairs and I'm 33, time is just flying by. All right, well, let's step on the scale. Hello, it's ready. Alrighty, I'm hopeful for this one. Keeping my fingers crossed. 514.6 pounds. Oh, yes, 514.6. All right, so 514.6, which is a definite loss from yesterday. And yesterday I was on track. I will talk a little bit more about like what I'm doing to lose weight. I just kind of want to do it first before I talk about it, if that makes sense. See, I can imagine her now being on track the next day and then she gains some weight and that's just a fluctuation and that just completely ruins her progress and she's just like that nah, that's it i'm just gonna order now like i just want her to know that it's not always that simple and you may be gaining weight which may not be fat it may just be water it may be anything else so this thing i don't know how um i don't know if it's gonna be keeping her on track but let's see so people were contacting me saying like, are you going to be on TLC? Has TLC contacted you? And the answer is yes. TLC has contacted me more times than I can count. I have done quite a few interviews for different TV shows. Um, there's actually a popular TV show that literally is running that interviewed me last year. And I was fixing to get up and move just to be a part of the TV show. And I kind of want to like share a story time about that, but that'll be in another video. Um, what I actually want to talk about now is like TLC recently contacted me and I guess supposedly a producer that was contacting me also contacted a few like Instagrams that like had my face on it. I don't know the full story, but that's like how everyone found out that TLC was talking to me because TLC ended up responding to one of the Instagram messages saying, yeah, I'm, you know, actually talking to her, blah, blah, blah. 
So yes, they contacted me saying that Dr. Now, Dr. Nazardian from um, 600 Pound Life is actually gonna be like doing a new TV show and they wanted me to be a part of it. So I was supposed to set up a phone call with the lady who contacted me and stuff, but I actually got a message from her today saying like, we need the people who are gonna be on the show to be 550 pounds or higher. If Amber really wanted to be on the show, she probably would have lied and said that, yeah, I am. But I bet you she was like, wait, 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 stop. I am too skinny because come on, you're not that far off from 550. I think Amber would find it insulting being on a show like that because she sees herself as like a dainty queen. Like closer to like to the 600 mark. So I was like, oh, well that's not me. So obviously I had to tell her my real weight, which you guys saw today. I actually told her 516 because I hadn't even gotten out of bed when I replied to her message. I was just like, yeah, like 516, but the scale actually said 514 today. <laughs> You know what? When I was watching the video and trying to edit, I saw the comments and one of you guys said that I bet you when she found out that she lost two pounds, she emailed the lady just to update her. Two pounds ain't gonna make a difference. But anyways, I'm not heavy enough to be on this new show. And it just kind of got me thinking that like, how is 516 pounds, 514 pounds, how is that not heavy enough to be on one of these types of shows? <laughs> Look at that smirk. Look at that laugh. I'm not, I'm not buying it. She's smiling and she feels so good. And this has given her like a confidence boost. And you know what? Whatever makes you happy, honey. Um, I just think that it, it's just really made her feel good. I don't think she even believes what she's saying right now about, you know, how is, yeah, because you were right. There's no difference. I mean, if you've hit a certain mark and, you know, you're unhealthy and there's risk of disease, then yeah, it does matter. And you should be able to do something with it. You know, you shouldn't have to wait for a TV show to save you. I feel like I need help just as much as someone who's 550. Like thoroughly, if you're over 400 pounds in general, like, it's time to like crack down and it's like for some reason i have all the tools i know all the tools i have all the knowledge i've done this millions of times before like i know how to lose weight but for some reason like i don't put those things into action like it is so hard it's like literal torture and i want to know more about that and i think that's why like i'm very eager to get a therapist like soon okay now i'm just completely rambling i'm going off on like one topic to another i came here to tell you that yes tlc wanted me to be on a new show they were gonna like interview me talk to me whatever but i'm not big enough for them <laughs> okay you know as i was listening to this i can i've been thinking about it and i can see how bystanders can watch and say that well you know you guys this community is bullying her and they're you know laughing at her trying to lose weight and i can see their point from one way but i think what i would like to say to them is that this is a woman who's admitted that they're worried that if they become a success story then their income would be split in half or even maybe less and i don't know if i agree with that i think yeah her point is valid um of course if this is her only source of income then yeah that's worrying but maybe she would why does she not think that maybe she would become someone like obese to beast um but yeah, she has all the tools and she was ready to go to have surgery and she canceled that. She was having therapy. Everything was going well. And it seems like every time she's just about to make success, she kind of stops it herself. So you do wonder that, yeah, you've got all the tools and you're saying it's so difficult and you're, you're saying that everyone's bullying you, but you're not actually doing it. You're almost there. You're always almost there. The surgery was almost there, but you said no. And a lot of people are like, why are you wearing your jacket inside? Whenever you see me wearing this, it's literally just because I just either came in from walking Twinkie or I was outside doing something. It is cold out there. Your girl does not leave the house without this jacket. So usually that just means I just came back in and I didn't take my jacket off. But I saw so many people ask that and I'm just like, oh, that's all. I'll tell you, I'll tell you exactly what this thing, this jacket thing is all about. Now, imagine you're a vlogger and you're going out and you walk your dog and you've, you know, run some errands and you come home. The first thing you do is you take your shoes off and you take your jacket off and hang it on a coat rack or whatever. And the reason that 
she's left the jacket on is because she wants people to know that she's been out. Because one of the things that people have been telling her is that if she lives alone, then she won't be able to manage going out. She won't be able to manage going to the shops. So she wants to leave it on to prove to people that she's been going out. I have some suspicions and I feel like sometimes she just leaves, she just puts her jacket on and just films stuff just to prove and make it look like that she's been out. Now, I don't want to, you know, give false claims or anything like that, but I think that it's just a bit odd you know to film yourself imagine coming home and you're like really uncomfortable and you're like oh no 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 hang on i'm just gonna put the camera on so that they can see that i've just been out so i'm currently walking twinkie and it's raining and super windy that's fun it literally does not rain in oklahoma okay guys so i'm actually just scrolling through tiktok and i love drew barrymore so much i just don't even know what it is but like i just saw like a clip from her talk show and it just made me kind of emotional actually you see what i mean another walking the dog walking twinkie another video sitting in her jacket at home she just said that she's been scrolling on tiktok or whatever so you've been sitting at home in your jacket like that forever with central heating? It doesn't make sense, you know? Um, anyway, um, I do think that she's been out. I think that it's just weird how she wants to put that in every video. Right. This brings us to the end of the video. And unfortunately, I don't think that there's any anything more that she says interesting in this video and the end of this video. So what we're going to do is reveal the answer to our trivia contest. So I really hope I'm so excited to read the comments because I, I want to know what people say. So I think that um, people are going to say 600 pounds or more. Now, I think that she may have been, she may have possibly been more than 600 pounds, but what she said in her video is that the highest weight that she's ever recorded herself was 572.4. <laughs> Tell me what you think in the comments. I will see you next time. Love you all. Bye.